What's up guys? I'm at the Bassmaster Classic, walking around, talking to the pros today, asking them best tips they got if you just got into a brand new boat. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Tim Doobie. I'm an Elite Series rookie and a one-time Classic qualifier. We're here at Grand Lake uh, for the 2024 Classic. So you just bought the boat and you're looking for one tip that I can give you. And that's gonna be always wear your life vest while you're running your boat. You never know what can happen. You never know if you're gonna hit a stump, an unexpected wave, anything can happen. Always wear your life vest, always wear your kill switch. That is my biggest tip I can give you if you're a new boat owner. Hey guys, Tyler Revet here. We're at the Bassmaster Classic this year in Tulsa. Just wanna give y'all a good tip about if you're getting that new boat out there. One of my favorite things is my reels, my Shimano SLX reels. They're, you know, whenever you're spending all that money on a boat, you don't wanna spend a lot of money on them reels, but those Shimano SLXs are only 99 bucks. I've been using mine for three years now and I don't even have to change them out in a year. They're great. They're paired with my F5 rod series. They're cheaper. They got the signature series rods and I have yet to break one while fishing. Hopefully I didn't jinx myself, but that's my tip. If you're getting that new boat, I'm sure you just spent that a lot of money on it. You need that tackle to go with it. So SLX is with the F5 rod. David Gass, I'm Elite Series Pro at the Bassmaster Class. So if you got a new boat and you're taking to the lake the first time, make sure your plug's in the boat for one and you disconnect it in the front. You take your motor toter off and your, your back straps. So always make sure your back straps are off because if you dump it in the water and you got a situation on your hands, you have to get wet to get those off. What's up guys, Ben Melican here and I got a tip for you guys. If you have never owned a boat, you're hopping into a boat for the first time, the biggest thing is you need to know how everything functions on your dash. Every, all these boats have all these buttons on, these fancy buttons, and if you don't know what makes your live wells work, it seems so simple. Where your, your kill switch is, where the bilge pumps are, that can be very scary and it's something that you have to figure out before you ever start doing these crazy cool forward-facing sonar type things and finding fish and catching these fish you see us catch you need to learn that and then of course trolling motor operation i mean that's something we take for granted but getting comfortable using the trolling motor understanding all the functions of a trolling motor is absolutely key in boat positioning which i think is the most important aspect of fishing that people overlook hey guys will davis jr if you are a newcomer to the sport and just bought your first boat my tip to you is get out there all your gauges what they mean use it appreciate it. I think the number one thing that really helped me when I first bought my boat was sit behind the console, just island around, getting used to everything that was on the boat and putting the troll motor in the water and, you know, just steering the boat around and trying to figure out, you know, all that set up. But to be, I guess, efficient on the water is time on your boat. So my tip uh, for someone just getting into fishing or just getting in their boat and to get to the stage that we are, if you look at all of these anglers, the number one thing that we've done is time on the water. You cannot beat it. There's no videos, no magazines, nothing that can compete with pure time yourself on the water, living and learning it yourself. Hey guys, Josh Wiesner here, Bassmaster Classic Qualifier. Just wanted to show you a little storage tip that I've been using lately and everybody's got the typical Plano box with you know that you can store all the all your jerk baits or any other components that you want but one thing that I've been doing is taking all my plastics and keeping them in the bag keeps everything more organized you know all the colors are together these are bass assassin products but works all great it's kind of of a mess right now but I got everything in the boat that I need for that day and I can easily just stuff it away and not have plastics laying all over the place. Hey Justin Barnes here just uh, gonna give you a tip on beginner boating probably the main thing we see traveling around and stuff is guys that just really don't know how to back their boat down and unload it and load it proper so that'd probably be a good start to learning good boating techniques to having successful days on the water. Hey guys this is Matt Messer Bassmaster Classic Qualifier. Man when you're first starting whatever getting in the boat biggest thing trying not to run around like crazy just slow down keep your head to you boat position is a big deal don't get right on top of everything you're trying to fish kind of back off of it really take your time just pick places apart what's up guys Seth Fighter here and if you just got a brand new boat and you've never been out fishing before a couple tips from the start one I'd recommend wearing a kill switch on your life jacket anytime you're running the big motor and then the other tip like the new troll motors are super powerful so I'd keep it like maybe half speed or less just because they got so much torque if you got to point in the wrong direction they can throw you out of the boat so a couple things to keep in mind and be safe out there and enjoy your new boat so there you have it that's how you get started fishing from a boat and if you want some more tips from the pros i've got a video right below me that's going to teach you all about river fishing can't wait to see you there